This is the process shot. I'm Michael. I'm morally ambiguous. And I've seen The Bad Guys, a new-ish animated crime comedy from director Pierre Perifo. The titular bad guys are a criminal gang, each member an animal generally considered to be unlikable or villainous by greater society, a trait which brought them all together in the first place. Led by Mr. Wolf, the group has gotten their paws, fins, and other extremities on just about everything valuable in their city, but are still called out and insulted by the governor. Seeking to show her up, they plot to steal an award trophy considered unstealable at its presentation gala, but its incident leads to Wolf accidentally committing a good deed, filling him with a feeling unknown but delightful. The group is caught, but Wolf comes up with a plan. If they take part in a redemption program, they'll have another chance to steal the award again. The only thing that he has to worry about is if he actually wants to turn good for good. That's just about the first act of the movie right there, and the rest of it is pretty dense with plotting and story as well. It definitely doesn't waste time, with just about every scene advancing the story in one way or another and maintaining its momentum as it goes along. It's helpful that it's character-driven for the most part, but for simplicity's sake, it's really only Wolf and a few others who get the most significant development. Even so, much of the story is pushed forwards by its characters and their ongoing or changing relationships. The thematic content of the film is also given a good amount of weight, though it does at times forego its semi-serious treatment of its ideas of prejudice and reformation for the sake of telling a joke or two. The same applies to a few story elements, in that while most of the story does move naturally, some corners are cut to streamline a few details and scene transitions. Nothing ever falls apart, though and it helps that the story is still very tight, with a number of twists that pay off in a satisfying manner and don't simply appear for the sake of a twist. If there's anything that I would say was lacking, it would be some of the voice acting, which ranges overall from well done to underwhelming. The less impressive of these are at least not very distracting, just in need of a bit more work. On the technical side of things, the animated nature of the film leads to it being very stylized in its visual makeup. There's a sense of exaggeration in just about everything, from the framing of characters within a shot to their movement and that of other objects within the environment. Half of the visual appeal is simply watching the characters move within a scene, with the other half easily being the greater art design which almost seems to have been made in tandem with the animation style. The color design is also pretty well and consistent, making this world appear somewhat dusty and orange, but still giving it a feeling of completeness across a number of environments. Cinematography within shots also works on a visual storytelling level, adding an element of surprise within a few scenes whenever the camera, if you can call it that, wants to hold out on revealing something until the right time. Overall, this movie is happy to bleed its unique design upon the screen, and thanks to its abundant amount of story, it is more than a case of style over substance. Even if it has a few bumps along the way, they're small enough that you may not even notice unless you think harder upon them. The Bad Guys, Pierre Parafel, 2022. Four and a half stars. I definitely say to give this movie a watch. That's it for this review. If you liked it, leave a like. If you have something to add, leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel for more reviews. I 
might be exaggerating a bit when I say that you wouldn't notice whatever downsides the movie has, but if that is the case, then I'd just say that they're forgivable. <laughs>